sounds like it's you have to go through a security point. Like you have to be assigned a go through different training protocols to be able to reach a class five. And I mean, you can only get up to class seven driver's licenses. And what are, what it, what kind of driver's license it actually require is called when you have to when you drive a tank. Um, uh, now that I say that out loud, that I should I, I shouldn't I should I have been thinking about that, figuring out what you need for a driver's license f- to drive a tank in Denmark. Mm, I'm actually not sure. I've never driven a drone a t- tank, uh, and I never w- went to the real military school, <laughs> so to speak. I went through uh, the the place where we, we learned how to be become firefighters and drive around and. Yeah, do stuff uh, <laughs> in regular trucks and cars. Uh, yeah, um, but I'm sure they have uh, some specific uh, designations uh, when you get up to driving around in APCs and tanks and all those other. I mean, I've seen I've seen some of the military trucks and they're just massive, huge, humongous. I think the closest thing I have gotten to, I have actually gotten to ride in anything close to that is the fire trucks in the airport. There is the the was I think it's called the crash tender. Uh, at least that is what it's called in Denmark at the Danish airports, uh, which is basically just this massive. It's, the, I think the closest thing you could call it is a APC or something like that. If a APC was a fire truck and was longer, I had more vehicles and was yeah, I don't know. it's <laughs> there are some really wild vehicles out there. And the little boy in me, I'm kind of a little bit envious each time to think about all those drivers driving around in these cool vehicles. Um, Though it might, in the end, actually be a little bit dull. Or, I mean, if you've been driven, drive, uh, driving in the, these kinds of vehicles for such a long time, I'm guessing that you you would basically start to think of it like, eh, it's kind of like driving. If you've been driving a car for 48 years or something like that, it's, there's nothing special to it. <laughs> While the rest of us just look, uh, stand on the sidewalk and with big wet eyes, and go, oh, you're so cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, I hope you are all having a grand time, having a good start of this beautiful week. And we are slowly creeping towards Easter, which is nice. Um, Easter is basically the month where uh, I have my my birthday is, being a little Easter boy, uh, so to speak. Um, I'm kind of kind of curious to see how Easter will be today this year uh, especially because there, uh, I have a little special project so to speak um, sure we can take it now while we just be talking a little bit here um, one of the projects when you do a twitch stream is that you have to there are some different achievements basically the best thing you can say this is, uh, some different achievements you need to to check out. You have to do the check mark thing uh, on them to to become like a pro Twitcher. I'm not sure. I think I think it's called certified Twitch streamer or something like that. I'm, I can't really remember the name for it. But there's some different goals you have to get at least uh, so and so many followers uh, in one 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 month. Uh, and I can thank you guys for actually giving me that achievement. Uh, check that out. So I have that. Uh, I still need, what was it? I think it's 50, 50 followers or something in total. Um, I'm around halfway there so to get that achievement. But the big thing for the Easter thing is, one of the things you need to do is you have to do a hold on to your butts a 24-hour stream. Yes. Yes, sir. You <laughs> you are looking at a man who needs to do a 24-hour stream.
stream. I'm not really sure how the hell I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try. I'm going to see if that can can succeed. <laughs> and I'm going to try that out in... Um, it will basically be in... <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Salty Boy Ace. Uh, I can reuse all the support probably going through that rack hole. Um, but it's going to be interesting. And I think I'm going to aim for one of the days in the east, in the Easter uh, vacation. And I even have my beloved wife to help me out. So we are basically talking, starting to talk about a little bit about what we can do, what we can play through the 24 hours. And we're, we're basically doing it like a guard shift. <laughs> so some of the time, probably most of the time, you'll hang out with me. Uh, and hopefully also uh, my darling wife. Um, but we will also shift in between uh, <laughs> where she takes, she's going to sleep and I'm going to gonna continue on uh, entertaining you guys with something. Uh, we're going to have a big, nice, fat program with all kinds of stuff. And then we are going to have a switch room where I'm going <laughs> to go take a power nap and uh, and Emily go, will go crazy with something. Uh, I know that she has some a few good ideas on what to do. So it'll be a grand time. Don't you worry. We will make sure to keep you bo keep you all notified when and where it's going down. So and do so in good time. So you have. So you can stock up on all the coffee and alcohol and chips and snacks and you know everything everything a full grown adult will need to try and survive that <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be great it's gonna be great um how does uh, does any of you have a comment on uh, any commentary on how the webcam how it looks right now where the webcam is right now <laughs> yeah exactly a few doses of adrenaline yeah uh, actually, one of the things that I have in my um, oh, thank you, nice. I'm happy that it looks fine. One of the things that I ha I have is that I found out that you know that I've been talking about Black Ma the Black Mesa game, uh, the upgraded, so to speak, basically upgraded uh, original Half Life game where they have turned it in uh, upgraded it into the new engine. So it basically runs on the same engine as. Half-Life 2, beautiful program, beautiful project. It's, I'm so stoked. I'm so looking forward to go through that. And that is one of the games that I'm thinking of running through uh, <laughs> when we do uh, the the power. Let's just call it the power stream <laughs> in the Easter. I'm gonna power through that. Uh, that's at least a few hours worth of entertainment there. Um, but I just checked out something that got me super excited. I mean, I played, I played it for around what was that? I think I played it for uh, five minutes at most, maybe three minutes, uh, and I was stoked. I was baffled. I was like, if if I could be a little boy looking, going into a gift shop, and my parents would look down at me and say you can that you can't get the big one son that would be that is basically the amount of adrenaline i got from seeing checking this out so i am so <sighs> i've decided to wait i have i have only ta i have go only tasted it for like those brief minutes and then i decided basically my my wife looked at me as you look so amazing uh, you look so stoked. And I was like, who? Yes, you need to do this on stream. Okay. And then I basically decided, okay, I need to do this. I need to be strategic about this and have this in my pocket for the big power stream. It is Blue Shift. They have made, they are, it's not finished, but they have made the first chip, uh, couple of chapters of the uh, Blue Shift game in the same format as Black Mesa. And I was amazed. It's, I mean, the amount of details 
I, 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 I kid you not, I did. I only played it for, I think, only saw the start of the intro. Like, I don't think it was a minute, maybe, uh, maybe less. But the amount of details, the amount of feel, everything, it was insane. I was just like, <clears throat> mind blown. I was like, Jesus, this is amazing. This is awesome. This is holy crap. Why haven't I? Oh my God. I was just blown away. I was so blown away. And I want to share that feeling with you guys. I want to show you how amazing a job they have done. Um... And that's kind of why I'm really thankful for Green Arc Mage to uh, to put forward that to that I should go through the original Half Life first with you guys, and then uh, go through the Black Mesa, the update, so you can really see the difference, the care that the Black Mesa team have done to keep true to the feeling of the Half Life genre, and but still keep it up to date with new graphics and all that. It's just, mwah, it's amazing. I am so stoked and so happy. And if I didn't say it before, I will say so again. I am so happy to be able to share this with you guys. It's going to be great. I am so looking forward to it. I can see in my timer I have been rambling on for around 20 minutes. It's not because I'm really keeping... <sighs> Keeping a count on how how long should how long should I talk today before I actually go to get to the meat department? How far should I talk before I actually get to the awesome things? In <laughs> we all want to do go into both the, either the law time or go throw ourselves into uh, the actual game into the crowbar uh, swinging. So, with that said, I am gonna run. To like the scientist on the on the screen right now, I'm gonna run after the head crap and run into the first part of the stream, the law bit, the law bits, and I can see that it is the old picture here. I am still super duper <laughs> amazing at this. Uh, I'm not sure why it has picked the old picture, but that is how it is. But we will just skip this, skedaddle. I'm just gonna close this down. And uh, just oh, this is amazing. Okay, one moment. Uh, I am not sure why I did this. Okay. Uh, hold on. I need to turn this down. There we go. Ah, it, was, it was all perfect. It was all smooth and amazing and professional. You did not see anything there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, as promised before, we are going through a few lopes here and there, and uh, some of you had some questions, and I uh, wrote them down, and I filled them up with some uh, other creatures that we haven't really said we met last time, uh, doing our playthrough, um, that we haven't covered yet. So, without further ado, I will start out with this fine fella that we are looking at right now at the screen. Um, the leech. Uh, it is also known as a hackworm or a carnivorous leech. It is part of a uh, part of the wildlife in San. Uh, lives in uh, in the is aquatic, 100% aquatic and lives in uh, rivers, rivers and lakes in the, the Seine area, where they uh, hunt for anything living or dead and use the tiny small teeth to uh, to rent and tear at, at the meat. So they are not they are not the blood sucking kind of leeches, they are more they, they are just digging in and trying to I don't know, like a little wild uh, chihuahua they are trying to <laughs> to wrestle the meat out and meat out of you. Um they are, and they are basically swarming. They are swarming, and these creatures are actually known to be uh, to still be in the u universe after this. <laughs> um, in the Half-Life 2 games, they are actually in Half-Life 2 out in the ocean. So, however, for better or worse, this whole resonant cascade that we have evidently, sadly, made 
we have basically made sure that uh, these kinds of aquatic creatures is from this alien uh, border world is now a normal <laughs> habitat in they found a new habitat in the in the world's oceans. Yay, yay for science! Welcome to the stream, Cora. <laughs> I have, um, of course, made sure to have the coffee ready just for you. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, um, that is the leech. Not much can be said about it. They are small, annoy annoying, and make these small sounds while you're in the water. It's really annoying. Um, they are all part of one of the first real specimens that the Lambda team brought back home from uh, the first survey of the, this border world set. We can see that we will we will see that later on. Uh, but they are basically in water tanks in some uh, deeper in the lab uh, complex being studied. So the next one we have is actually our beloved uh, <laughs> Green Art Green Art Mage who started to ask about snarks. What are snarks? Can we get something about snarks? And of course we can. Of course we can. These beauties, these beautiful little tiny creatures who are all too happy to to step and gnaw at your uh, your enemies. And if there's nothing nearby of your enemies, they are n just just as happy to run back to you and start to gnaw at you. <laughs> um, if you haven't guessed it, snarks are also wildlife of uh, the Sen border world. Uh, they are dubbed, and hold on, they are dubbed for the squeak grenade. <laughs> it's actually a name they're called <laughs> in the game. Um, so yeah, uh, the, these snarks or squeak grenades, so to speak, they are both social and territorial. Um, they live in uh, in nests that the uh, <laughs> squeak. Yeah, they live in nests uh, that is made in cadavers and corpses uh, from different creatures. So basically, they uh, inhabit and they create uh, these nests in uh, in these um, different. Yeah, meat carrier, so to speak, with us food. In the original game, uh, I'm pretty sure the the one we are playing right through right now is a little bit updated. But the original game, their nests was shown as a uh, a kind of black greenish uh, um, square with four hooks in each corner and a red pulsing. Uh, area in the middle. In this, they are the net. The nests you can see, and that is where this information comes from. With them living in corpses and stuff like that, creating nests in it. You can basically see a rib cage in part of the nests. I will try and show that if we ever, if we find them, uh, some of them uh, on this stream. But yeah, they are basically uh, life forms that live there, and they are. Uh, furiously protective of the nest, so if we get close to any nests, we will be attacked by some of these small annoying creatures who, as the squeak, as, <laughs> as the squeak grenade says, they squeak a lot. They squeak as they attack and run after you, and the longer they run after you, the louder a pitch they do, until the pitch is so loud that they explode. Um, so it's like a I'm not sure how you can say this, but it is a like a, bio, a biological technicality technicity that they explode when they die, uh, either when they are by a predator or when they are close to a predator after they hunt it. Uh, when they explode, they spray this. Their blood is sprayed all over the place, and their blood is acid. So it's a really nice, really nice touch, really nice touch. Um. The Sen militia, they uh, they have found found out that they can use these snarks as a kind of biological trip mi trip mines. We haven't met, seen this uh, yet, but I think we will be, we do so soon, as far as I remember. Um, anyways, I will point it out when we get there. Um, <laughs> hello cat, hello cat, hello kitten. You want to see what we're doing here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
it is a little little cat just chilling and having fun. All right. So that is the snack, a beautiful little creature. Um, <laughs> the next one we have here uh, is a form for uh, great fun and laughter is the tentacle. <laughs> or tentacles in plural, if so to speak. Um, the tentacles, uh, we can call it the stalks of these tentacle beings, um, they are wildlife. They are living in the, in different areas in the Sen uh, border world, and as the uh, some of them get teleported in due to the resonant cascade, this whole rift in the the space continuum, um, they are actually starting to grow in uh, on Earth, grow in the, on in the grounds and all that. It's, it's it is actually quite scary, and we I remembered vaguely that you actually can meet them as well in the, in the Half Life too. So they actually survive for a longer time. Um, when every time I refer to Half Life two, you have to remember Half Life two is twenty years after the uh, the Resident Cascade, after these this this game that we're playing right now. It's a long time. A lot of shit is happening <laughs> to poor poor Earth. So, but these uh, tentacles, uh, they grow, they grow in clusters from a, a sprout of roots. We saw that when we defeated the tentacles in the, in the blast pit last time. Remember, we burned it to scripts with, after having running, uh, running around to do all kinds of stuff, meeting some, uh, some very scared scientists and turning on a few valves and putting, pushing some buttons. Uh, when we got down through the hole where it came from, we actually found down in the water a, cl- a cluster, a like a root of of this creature, and it was Boris. It basically looked like it was living uh, is one big big mass. These three tentacles came from one mass, which is very interesting. Um, uh, they hunt by using, even though they have an eye, they can't really seem to see, so they use echo location to find their uh, their um, prey. Um, so basically, they either tap to try and feel out where are you, or they listen. So you better be, you can better be uh, as uh, silent as you can be, and try to sneak past them, or use other uh, things to try and distract them from you. Um, what else have I written down here? Yeah, I have a theory, and this, remember, this is just a theory. This is actually not something uh, wise or anything like that. But in Sen, there is these kinds of stalks who is who is thrown around in the border worlds. That if you get too close to them, they attack you. They they kind of like trees, I would say. I'm not sure, but I would call it. Let's just call them trees. I have a theory that these trees are actually these tentacles in a form of jovial state before they actually have grown and gotten uh, AI and mobile mobility. Um, but it's actually very unknown. It, the, we don't know anything either, neither on the Wikipedia or anything like that. We it's just known that it, it's there, and it might be that they are actually trees who has grown to become hungry uh, for scientists and other prey. Let's see here. The next one, as you can see here, <laughs> uh, the next one is the gargantuan hunting, uh, trying to press a love on poor Mr. Freeman, as you can see in the picture here. Um, gargantuan is actually the only creature we have today from the Sin Militia. As you can see here, for in a more proper picture, uh, they are huge. They are these huge creations running up to to the 12 feet tall. They are, their hands are basically huge flamethrowers, and they can uh, create sonic waves by uh, by stamping hard on the ground. They are horrible creatures to fight against because 
no conventional firearms can actually, can penetrate their uh, carapace. They are bulletproof, so to speak. We murdered one the one thing, the one gargantua we, that we met. We managed to kill that with electricity. So it shows that they are vulnerable to electricity. And when we played the opposing force with uh, Corporal Adrian Shepard, we managed to kill one as well by a lot of dynamite, enough dynamite, so to speak. So right now we know either the high voltages of the electricity or a lot of explosives is should be enough to deal with them. Uh, nothing else really seems to do anything to them. <laughs> um, it is actually unknown up to this date um, if they are these creatures if they are a natural born form or uh, species of the sand portable or if they are a artificial engineered um, artis artificial arti yeah. oh man I, I should have st started with the first one if they are artificially engineered for the sand militia um, just like the grunts as we have fall off a few grunts. They are uh, these other creatures who are. I think I have a picture here as well. Don't I? Yeah, I have a picture here. Let me just make sure that my face is not in in the way. There we go. Um, these creatures, uh, these grunts, as you can see, that Gordon Freeman is stepping at right now. Uh, they they are another constructed being from the Sen uh, border world by the Nylath uh, that we until now have no idea who is and what is going on, but is is the one who is trying to invade Earth right now uh, through the, this great hole that we have created in <laughs> in time and space because we were curious about a crystal. So. But to return to the Gargantua, we are, they are basically, they are unknown, but as you can see, their hands, if you look at the, hand, the hands that we can see here on this picture, and the hand, uh, the left hand of the grunt here, they look very similar. So it is very theorized that this giant beast is properly engineered, artificially engineered, by uh, these aliens to be this huge monster uh, who is basically wrecking ball and killing everything. For those of you who are interested, let me just put uh, put in a beautiful little video here. For those of you interested, the name Gargantua comes from, if you are curious about that, the name of the Gargantua is actually named after a uh, five novels uh, from the 16th century called Gargantua and Pentacne. And no, I do not know what that is. <laughs> I do not know what kind of uh, uh, novels that is, but it's apparently what inspired the Valve team to create, uh, to name this creature Gargantua. Uh, and maybe inspire them a little bit to uh, how this creature is, is, is moving about. Um, let's go to the last we have here. Is this beauty? Um, they, they oh. man, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna butcher, I'm gonna butcher this name. <laughs> I'm gonna butcher this name. Just you wait. The Ichio 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 Sour. Um, I can just try and write it in here in the chat so you can try at home to see if you can uh, can do a better work here than me uh, <laughs> actually saying this name because it is there you go that is it's it's name actual name in the game um, but yeah the Ichio Sour is wildlife and as we can see in the picture it is a aquatic creature uh, it is not it, it's not known in uh, Ichio <laughs> Sour yeah let's just kind of go <laughs> I love that. We, we're going to implement that. Ice tea. It's the ice tea sour, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, it, is, it has not been known to be uh, in, the, in the known ocean until the, the resonant cascade happened, even though that some scientists tried to say that it, it, they brought the samples of this uh, creature 
from the ocean, from the ocean depth, depths. It's that we meet a scientist. We we met a scientist in our playthrough who said this creature has not been in the ocean until uh, five weeks ago or something like that. Um, so yeah, it is a creature from the Sen border worlds who have been uh, blasted into our world as well. So nice of them. It is a wildlife, if you hadn't guessed. And it is um, it is one, just like the leech that we saw before, it is one of the early specimens that the the scientist, the, the scientist got and took from the border world when they first did the, send out the survey teams. And the reason we know that is because there's actually pictures and pictographs of the creature that, and very detailed uh, chickens on these creatures. And there is in uh, Opposing Forces a whole o ocean lab created, <laughs> very suspiciously, funny enough, created, uh, which kind of tells you that they knew what they were uh, going to bring in and have a look at. So, yeah. But it's a nice, nice, uh, nice animal, and we it, we it even see it uh, gonna see it in the Half Life too. So it is still in 20 years after Resonant Cascade. It is this creature is still in the ocean. <laughs> so yeah, do not go out and bathe too too far out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hello, welcome, Dark Squirrel. Is is that a swimming ponus? Uh, uh, your guess is as good as mine. I just know it's the ice to your sour, or as Cora has named it, the iced tea sour. <laughs> oh, thank you for being on the way home. That's so nice. Okay, so without further ado, let's move on. I uh, the last part. A, uh, <laughs> it, lo it looks like a mushroom. Yeah, I can kind of see that. I can kind of see that on the head. It kind of looks like a mushroom. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it is a interesting creature, nonetheless, and it uh, is extremely noisy when we meet it in uh, in the game. Extremely <laughs> noisy. <laughs> yeah. Or a banana, a floating banana. It's a mushroom banana with two legs, exactly, called the iced tea sour. There we have it, folks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. So last time. Last time we uh, we got into a uh, a uh, a room. We met a uh, we fought off some some uh, some ladies. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you would like to know, eh, soldier boys, what the guy in the mask is smoking? It's certainly very healthy, at least I think. <laughs> but yeah, last time we uh, we fought off uh, the Black Ops teams, uh, these assassins girls, who was um, was a bit tough, but we fought them off. And with victory uh, in our grasp and a new hope in our hearts, we opened up the next surface access door and got through it. And we were so happy. We looked down in, inside the room where there was a nice health station just wink it, waving at us, saying, hello, Gordon Freeman, please come here. I can see you are, are hurt. Let me do it, uh, make everything good for you. We walked inside and someone flipped the switch. It got dark, and we got punched a lot. Um, <laughs> yes, this is just a little bit of background story, <laughs> so you actually know what is going to happen when we start up. This is the HECU, also known as the Hazard Environmental Combat Unit. It is a military who is... Oh, the mic is kind of scratchy. I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure if there's anything I can do about that. Is this better? Yeah, let, let me know if the mic is scratchy or if there's anything but with the sound that is weird. Uh, but yeah, um, 
and I'll try and see if I can fix it. But yeah, the Hazard Environmental Combat Unit. Uh, they are they are the guys who is have been basically been trained to go in get into the Black Mesa uh, compound and make sure. Yeah, we might need to buy a new one. Yeah, probably. Yeah, um, they've been trained to go into the, the Black Mesa compound and take care of everything. They've basically been trained to do close combat uh, fights. And the interesting thing is they have been training for this for at least five weeks before the incident that we are actually being through right now. That is kind of curious. Someone knew something somewhere. Um, but these guys are the ones that we are, we've been phasing off. The, these are the guys who are very... Very enough big fans of uh, <laughs> Gordon Freeman. They are actually very, very, very tired of the man. Um, they believe that one of the reasons, some of the reasons why they have this harbor this hatred for Gordon Freeman and tag the uh, different walls with uh, the uh, Freeman and all that, um, it's because they have. They, as they understand it, Gordon Freeman is the one person who started this whole invasion. We, te- we technically did pull, put in a gem into a, uh, a unstable beam that created the wormhole and all that. True, but they believe that we intently did it, and we're and we are kind of this weird mad scientist running around. And to top it all, we are this weird mad scientist running around and killing off their buddies and friends. <laughs> so they are really, really, really not happy with us right now. Um, they are really not happy, as you can see in this picture. <laughs> Let me just uh, remove the, myself here as well, so you can get, have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they are not. They they are not our biggest fans at all. They are not jolly at all about Gordon Freeman. Uh, so, there we will probably not be able to uh, to uh, to get get them to join our D and D group either. Um, but they are very happy for our friendship gifts. So so we'll keep keep on giving them gifts of friendship. Maybe they will change their mind at some point. <laughs> all right. So with that, that is the last picture that I have for this time's orbit. And you know what that means? That means that we are actually gonna run into the game. And if I can get the game to work here. Hello. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Gotta give it a little minute. There we go. There we have him. Mr. Golden Freeman in the flesh. Um, for any of, any, any of you who have just joined in, we are going to go through the good old Half-Life game where we are going through the different storylines. So if you have any questions or fi- find it, have any questions during the stream, anything about Half-Life or stuff that you want uh, uh, me to check through, let me know. And I can see that <laughs> this, the mic is apparently scratchy a little bit. Uh, it might be a installation thing though, because this mic has different inst- installations. I can try and click here. I'm not sure if this helped. Let me know if this helped. Uh, yeah, it might be the stream though. Yeah, you can never know. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Discord the Discord pair sounds different. That is true. That is true. But it's because I use the mic in the headset. And here I use a Turtle Beach. Let me just be like a really fancy Joe here. I use Turtle Beach, a uh, a fancy pants, um, low budget streaming mic. Uh, <laughs> I do not have the the high profile mic, so yeah, <laughs> it is fancy pants. Uh, and it is to top it all off to be extra fancy. Right now, it is standing to make sure that it is close enough to my face. We are using the good old waffle stick. <laughs> uh, waffle sticks, uh, ch- chocolate sticks, basically. 
Well, I, I have it standing here on my very impromptu um, studio set. <laughs> yeah, it's, I know, I know, it is, it is super, prof we are super professional here on this stream. Um, welcome again to, for anyone who is new here, remember we are very professional here, we have everything <laughs> in order. Uh, I should uh, I should better just move on and get into the game. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, they owe me money. Yeah, they should really give me money for advertisement. I am going to be silent now because now that I'm going to load the game, we are actually going to load strictly into the last time where we had a cliffhanger. So we're going to go straight into a cutscene. Loading in. There we go. Again, let me know if the sound or mic needs something. They were no, those guys were not nice. They were the ones dragging, dragging us somewhere, beating our asses. Oh, welcome to the stream, Sniggers! So nice to have you with us. <laughs> to this amazing little uh, family of nerds. <laughs> yeah, I am prepared with both uh, coffee, water, and even have some Coke here. But uh, what I don't understand is that it seems like in the screen is dark. So what about, let me just see here if I can go in here, how far is this, okay, let's try to do the autosave here because it's kind of a dull stream if you can't see anything at all. Hmm. Yeah, this is not kind of weird because I, I wanted to save it at the right point yeah it doesn't show there should also be uh, huh, that is odd what I think we'll just have to let me just see here Juan 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 Momento Juan Momento yes uh, uno momentos uh, let me see if I can find the right timestamp here um this one is the one we want. We can't get that. Uh, it actually seems, looks like we need to go in here. Oh, well. We have to go in here. We have to do a little bit of combat. So it's fine. It is, it is all good. We are a little bit back, but it's all good. Um... Gonna move on here. Oh man, we are really far back. Jesus. I thought we were Ow. Ah, two for one shot, nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and do a little, tiny bit of a speed run here because we are a little further back than I wanted. So far, so that means this guy he has actually been dodging the aliens and the military uh, by traveling around in the old parts of, uh, <laughs> of the Lambda area. That's nice. Okay, let's go out and move on because we have seen this before. I'm well, just gonna try and get through this. Here we go. 
Ah. Exactly, we are winning. Hashtag winning. We are so much gonna win in this. Um, boxes. Always remember to finish off the boxes. This is a, the name of the game. Uh, gift of friendship? First, gift of friendship for this game. Oh man, I'm really bad at being friendly. There we go. Yeah. Haha! <laughs> gift of friendship. They never get tired of it. Nor will we ever get tired. Oh. Gift of friendship! Gift of friendship. And run. Gift of friendship? They are always happy to get some friendship gifts, no matter what. Okay. So, we are gonna turn in here and get going. <laughs> oh man, Cora, if you if Waffle Stick started to sponsor me, I mean, holy crap. <laughs> Make sure I don't what? So. We met, we met this, uh, 95%. The, this guy just got shot in the head. So. These are actually one of the hot. Where are you? Ha! There we go. <laughs> I was speaking, I can't really speak while there are is a, uh, well, there's fire, we were shooting, we were shooting, shooting our gun and all that. Yeah, uh, it would be bad if I got, if I got sponsored by uh, Waffle Sticks because I cannot get enough of them. Those are like coke for me, it's so bad. It's the worst. <laughs> it is pretty much like, um, uh, what is that, cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon buns. I am uh, I'm horrible with cinema buns. It's the worst. <laughs> I love them. Okay, well, can I can never stop myself. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, this is the assassins. I covered them the last stream. I just want to show them out here, just for fun. Funsies. They are part of the black ops. The black ops people who are trying to who are trying to silence. Uh, both are the employees of the Black Mesa and the Grunts, the military guys who just got in and t is trying to do the same job. They're kind of trying to, you know, take over control and silence every personnel and all that. And these Black Ops just comes in, but and it's just like, well, you Grunts, you also know about the Black Mesa team now, so you kind of need to, you you need to you need to be silent as well. <laughs> Aww. I'm the cinnamon bun. Oh. Yeah, Giflum. I'm not sure how you would. Uh, I think cinnamon buns is the, the closest thing we can get to actually pronounce Giflum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's just make sure that we have all the boxes here. Here we are. We are back to the surface access. So. Let's go through this. And yes. Uh, you were right there. The Danish the Danish pastries. I mean, of all things. We, we learned that 
uh, we we got the the pastries. We actually took the pastries from the Netherlands and adapted to it. Uh, but the da- Danish pastries is a huge thing here in Denmark. So I'm gonna say cheers to you here at the first little drink. Mm. I can't remember when I last got rum and coke. Is I think. Last time I got rum and coke was, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Last time I got rum and coke was actually back <laughs> at the new year. Um, it's nice. It is nice. Both sugary and rummy. Just what, how we like it. I open up for the surface access. And let's just move on so we can actually get to the new part. We're going here. Yes, yes. Oh, look at this! Look at this beauty. First aid kit in this very lit room. Yes, yes. step in. Oh boy. I see it. Uh, all right, we got him. There we go. We had visual this time. Hey! Nice. I think our... Ah, how nice of them to drop us in a... in this place. Um... Oh boy! Oh boy! Ah! Oh! Oh! No, 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 no! Panic! I am panicking! Anakin, I am panicking! Okay, I'm not panicking anymore. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh man. <laughs> Just damn. I really did a number, yes. Just squashing this whole place. Though there's a tiny room here. Um. That would be basically essentially be, be fucked if we were still down there. Um, so yeah, I was panicking a little bit there. <laughs> if I didn't, if I did, if you didn't don't get up there, if they actually cr- manage to crush one of the bigger crates, you cannot get up. You're just yeah, you're just sitting ducks. Um, we but we are back here. We have our trusty crowbar back in our hands, so we can uh, take care of the world. But we have no friends the gifts of our friendship anymore and we basically have no weapons so we are back here uh whoop. just jumping down here ah. residue processing we are in residue processing apparently aka uh, the land plot complex thumbs to side what was that sound Ah, birds! <laughs> I've been underground so long that I have, I have forgotten all about what how s- birds sound like. Oh, we have some headcrabs. There we go. Took care of those. So we are somewhere at the outside skirts of the Lambda complex. Yes, we have a guy here. A scientist. Who is out here somewhere. It is kind of seems like it's a dump, dumpster site for uh, where the soldiers are just dumping our, uh, our colleagues. Shame on them. Shame on them. Flow control. Oh boy. But as we remember it, the scientist we talked to in the cold room, he said that if we needed to go get somewhere, we should seek out the old older parts of um yeah, old parts of the complex. Oh, we have a friend there. Oh, 
Oh, hey, hey, dude. Oh, ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> we can't read too much about that. Oh boy. So there we have it. A barnacle. Ooh, gun. There we have a barnacle who just got his nice me meal there. Um. Check here. Hazardous waste. So that is this is a waste area of sorts. Mm. Yeah, let's check this area first. I'm not sure if we can get past this. Can we? Ah, we can. Better save where we can. Save our ammunition. Got some health. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah, this looks nice. This looks very nice. This is totally a legit kind of operation. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this is a nice place. Um, let's try and go down here. Better have my crowbar up. Ooh. Got your head crash. Maintenance access. Ah, that's close. Maintenance access. We are not allowed to go through maintenance access. Okay. And we are full. Our armor is fully powered. So no, no need for that. So it's the only other place we can go right now. Got a limbo around. Ah, damn it! No, bad, bad barnacle, bad barnacle. Yeah. Whew. Okay, time for a little drink here. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> so, the only way forward here is well, uh, playing with this nice. Uh, that. Whoop. Ah. <laughs> Platform skills. Is to run around here and have fun with hazard materials. <laughs> and now we're here. We were up there before. Um. Oh. Oh. That was a little bit too fast. Aha. Whoop. Blood. Toxic levels detected. Oh, and we're gonna say good night to uh, our little dragon, our little dragon, the Den Catla. It's a light that um, behind me that uh, closed or shut down. Man, my English is awesome. I think we need to go over here. Doing our usual venting, venting works here. Um, oh, I, I could probably have done that. <laughs> yeah. Good night, little dragon. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're gonna have a little jumping puzzle here. Let's see if we can. You know what? Just gonna take a little save here, you know. Whoop! Ha 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 ha! My jumping skills are still uh, still the same. Uh, there we go. I knew I could do it. <laughs> no, no sweat. <laughs> oh man, I'm never. Jumping puzzles is never a fun place for me. So this is another part of waste processing, apparently. Um, this is a very interesting. Wha wha where are we going? Okay, a uh, water. I can I can do water. 
Um, all right. Now we are here. Danger. Confined space. Hazardous area. Unauthorized personnel. Keep out. No. How about this other place? No. Well, I guess we will have to swim then. <laughs> oh boy. Aha! Caution. What is this area? This is like... This is a waste processing area. But for what? I actually don't know. I don't know uh, exactly what kind of waste processing we're talking about here. Are we talking about... Oh, we can. Uh, we should probably not be near the fire. Uh, oh, going down here and... Oh, getting low. There we go. Ow. Oh, boy. We might be drowning soon. Ah! Oh. And here we are. Oh, boy. We have our awesome gun here. Let's just go in here and... Oh, look at this! Gifts for a friendship. Wrapped in packing. Take care of the months, the greens, it has to be done. That is true. Uh, you have a good one, Sneakers, and always welcome to just hang around, or stay around. I mean, we'll return. Uh, I am probably gonna, I'm planning on, let me just do this so we can get, get better, you can better hear me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, take care and uh, maybe see you later, who knows. Uh, if nothing else, you can always rewatch the stream on the link that should be on my, this channel now, uh, leading to YouTube, where I'm loading up all the episodes. Okay, we have a conveyor control here. Ow. Oi, stop it. Ah. Right. Conveyor control. Ah, so that is, uh, yeah. Let's just say here, warning, disconnected power before attempting maintenance. You gotta love... What is this? Okay. You gotta, you gotta love the, the, the signs of safety. Remember to uh, disengage things so you don't get smooshed. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get this right and bam! <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I've been through this before. <laughs> at, at least that part I knew. <laughs> okay. So we are now a piece of cargo. Or has, hazardous machinery, if you were ever in doubt. It makes you wonder, where does all this come from? Where does all this waste come from? Is it... Is this just a grand plant part of the cafeteria area uh, where all well, where all the where they put put all the you know discarded oh boy all the discarded chicken legs and stuff like that or uh, or as I think it is I think this is a part where uh, they kind of knew they were working with aliens. Uh, they're gonna work on experiments on alien stuff, you know, you know area uh, 51 uh, kind of stuff. So they needed a place to make sure that things would never be seen again. Kind of, well, hide the stuff away, right? Well, ah, damn. Oh, 
I thought I was so awesome. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's try that again. And not get squashed by pistons. Okay, the first one is pretty easy. First one there. Uh -huh. <laughs> third time. Third time is a charm. We know it. I feel it. I will. I uh, feel it now, ladies and gentlemen. I feel it. Uh, I feel it. I, I can do this now. Running through. Running through. Oh, it's doing the. Oh, boy. Ah, we got through. Aha! Um. Yeah. We are going through some different places here. What? Ah! <laughs> okay. It's probably better that we are out of that now so we can actually have a look around, figure out where we are. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not gonna play around here. Uh, okay, we ha do not have a lot of ammunition either. Ow. Okay, come on, come on, you want it? You want it, hit crap? Ha ha! Beat it! Um. Uh, can't go through here. This is like a huge room. Hmm. Huge, weird room. Full of... Yeah, full of waste disposal. Uh... Silos. Um... That I would wager is probably filled with acid or something <laughs> other nasty shit. <laughs> yeah, it got very angry and frustrated. You can see that on his tiny. Whoa! Okay, we really need to conserve ammunition this. Oh, Moni. Um. Gonna grab ourselves some first aid here. Mm -hmm. Found the stairs, ladies and gentlemen. We found the stairs. Which leads us up to here. Um, I'm not sure. I think this is where we came from, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is where we came from. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, we cannot... Oh, oh man! <laughs> My platforming skills are not... They, they, need, they need an update. My platforming skills. Holy crap. Uh, back to the stairs. We need to do some balance stuff. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we can handle another fall like that. <laughs> so um, before we do this, let's have a drink of encouragement. In balance, we know that how it works. How is uh, by the way? How is the sound and uh, mic? The sound from the game versus the sound of the. Uh, the mic right now. Is it okay? I've tried a um, new kind of uh, setting on the mic. I think would deafen it a little bit. Okay. Getting closer. Um. Okay. It's too dangerous. Ow, 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 ow. Um. Oh, I saw something there. 
Let me just go over here. I saw something there. I saw a mine. <laughs> so where there's a mine is probably a way. Maybe. Okay, so we are saying the game is fine. Mic is good too. A little more muffled, but it feels more smooth in a way too. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hello. Uh, hello. Oh boy. I don't know. Eh, I don't want to. I don't want to get into this. I'm not cut out to die like this. Ah. Uh, um. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, do we have anything? Oh yeah, we have a, a gift of friendship. Um. Wait, what? Okay, we need to safe distance. Okay, uh, let's try that again. Uh, blah blah. What? No. No, no, no. God damn it. Um, we're probably gonna die from this. <laughs> Okay, that was close. I knew what I was doing. I knew I was at a safe distance. I was I was not panicking. I was not I was not doing the panic. I was doing the panic. <laughs> but yeah. What? High radiation area? Mm, that sounds like a place where you really want to go right now. I mean holy crap, they have really made sure that Nothing, wow, no, nothing gets through here. Uh. Okay. Yeah, we are actually seeing they are sending down uh, specimens here. So this is a place where they crush and destroy. Oh, oh boy. Try to make sure that, okay, we're just gonna, uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah! We do not have a lot of health. We have like no health at all. Uh, ah, we made it! Ah, uh, ah, uh, run and jump and get up and. Uh. So this is the end station, the waste area. How oh, nice. High radiation. All right. So yeah, we have evidence now that they are. Uh, they have built this whole, this whole way, this whole waste station that we've gone through was built specifically to make sure that no, no alien, um, yeah, it's basically get rid of ev all evidence of uh, black maze fiddling with alien stuff. Um, just cheers of victory. With our, oh, we have 15 health. I mean, we are questionable ethics. We're going to question our ethics now. Crowbar time. Bam. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad ones. Bad dogs. Bad dogs. <sighs> we had enough. We had enough ammunition to deal with them. Well, there's even some more ammunition here. So yeah, this is a... For deeming from the amount of uh, hound eyes here, I would wager that this is a holding pen where they make sure that um that all these specimens were held. So they kinda Well uh, I'm just gonna save here just be certain because that I'm I have a feeling that I'm gonna get electrocuted now. Oh unless can we shoot this? Whoa Huh 
That's saved. That's the trouble. Nice. So we actually destroyed that. Nice. <gasps> Health. Nice. But this is a hold. Yeah, high voltage. Yeah, this is. There's so much been built to take care of hold all these alien species, uh, or at least the hound eyes. Can you hear that sound? That is the sound of... Oh, look at this. Huh, have you seen this? Look at this guy. Well, now we have him. A grunt. We have him here in one... Look at... Whoa! Okay, he was not happy to be in there at all. <laughs> it's kind of sad, though. I could have a really good look at him. Um, I hope you enjoyed the view, uh, guys. Yeah, stomach arm. He has a stomach arm. Raw, raw. Yeah. But we got him. We got him down. Good. Even though he broke through the glass, now we are venturing forth with one bullet. Bullet. One. One bullet. No. I guess we will have to smash this. Doesn't look like there's anything else we can click on. Nope. Nope. Smash! Ah! The door opened. Uh, I'll crawl by time just to be sure. Oh, look at this! A little pen with head crabs. Hmm. What is this? Ooh, I think I know what this is. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's put on our our goggles and, and do science. Hey, this is the science channel now. We're gonna do some. Science for the greater good. Boop. Okay. Oh. Okay. It looks nice. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> I'm not sure what that. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, boy! Oh, but give me a gun. Ah, we have now 20, 25 bullets. Okay, book it. This, this science experiment is. I'm not sure what it was meant to be, but it apparently was meant to be. Uh, Scrambling and destroying, uh, testing out how resistant is headcrafts to this super effective, uh, this super effective and powerful discharge. Hey, it's no good up there. It's all sealed off. The only way out would be to find someone with scanner access who can open the front door. I'm pretty sure there's a few scientists hiding somewhere in the lab. Maybe with both of us looking, we can track them down and get them to let us out. Where the hell were you <laughs> when that Soviet boy was over there? I mean, he was he was just there. He was just there. And, and, uh, you know what? You're not gonna be on the D and D group. You, you have to you have to at least sell your life for me once before I will uh, think uh, think about inviting you to the D and D group. At least. Okay. So this is your this is your golden time. Uh, I can hear we have some friends over here, uh, and we have no <laughs> we have twenty five. <laughs> Doo -doo. Okay. Uh, oh boy. Uh, run. Yeah, you go. You go. So I 
am not sure how the hell you survived, sir. But since you're still here, have you heard about becoming playing uh, the class monk? Well, I mean, we could totally use a monk. No, we cannot go through here. Okay. Just gonna grab ourselves a little bit more of information. Uh, ammunition here. So this here. Let's just, let's just go down here for a moment. Uh, this area. Uh, just okay, right here. Here help else by. Yeah, you do that. Uh, this is the. Lambda command, Lambda command station, something like that. Um, it's it is the heart of the the Black Mesa complex. Can we go through here? No, well, there's only one way to go. Okay. So yeah, it's what the hell is that sound? Okay. Um, let's have a look here. Ah, we got through. Hmm. So we have some friends down here, in here. And we have some more friends here. Um, and we have a uh, thing here. Oh, it's the same thing as before, guys. It's the same thing before. Okay. I think I know what, uh, I think I know what to do. Oh, look at those guys. They're standing. One, two, three. Oh, they're doing friendship stands. Okay, so we're warming up the good old boom boom. It did not take care of these guys, though. Better just ow. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah. Silence. Ah, yes, yes, my pretties. Come and face silence. <laughs> Still here, one though. Still here, one. Is there someone that survived somewhere? No? Okay, I'll... Ah, now we got our super duper Buffy the Vampire Slayer weapon. We can do everything now. Remember what we did? Remember when we talked about guys, about the, uh, the snacks and their nests? This is the nest. As you can see, it's a rip cage thing. That's the snarks area, which is very interesting. Um, yeah, I can see I'm not just rambling and being weird. <laughs> so living, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna pick it up. Oh, look at the cutie! Just look at the cutie! Yes, just gonna get out some help. And let's find some friends for this guy, eh? Oh, look at it. It is so happy. It is so ready to get some friends. Look. We have a friend here. We have a friend here. Are we ready to it? Are you ready for it, little snack? Go! Get your friends! Go! Get your friends! Go! Get your friends! Go! 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 Get your friends! <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just look this guy in in the in the eye as <laughs> this thing happens. Oh boy. <laughs> Gablano <laughs> Questionable ethics. Questionable ethics, indeed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> all the good scientists 
<laughs> All in the good signs this day of work. Cheers for that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So we're back here in a interesting path. Oh, this was where we were before. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's uh, let's go grab our friend here. You. Okay, I'll cover you. Yeah. He's not mad. Go go go. Let's have a look down this corridor. See what other interesting science experiments we can find. Hmm. So this looks interesting. We have a dead soldier there. Oh, just gonna grab batteries. Oh, we have some. Ooh, we have trip mines. Trip mine friends. All right. Um, take this guy up here. You go on without. Yeah, you you stay there. Remember, if he uh, if he dies, we need to find a new someone else to play uh, to play monk for us. Okay. Um. I have a somewhat idea on what is going to happen here, though. I vaguely remember <laughs> how much shenanigans will happen here. Uh, so let, we're just going to, you know, put down these friendly things. So nice. Uh, and we're going to go up and ha stand with our buddy up here. Biohazard. Infectious waste. So remember, we are in the middle of the complex here. Everything looks totally legit. Gonna. Oh, okay, that didn't do anything. And we have our friends there. And we have soldiers as well. Oh, don't kill our monk. Our monk is still alive. Nice. That's cool. You're you're cool, man. You uh, you earned your your part of uh, being part of this uh, team. Cool. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here, man. Amen. Amen. Let's have a little look. What is here? Explosives. Oh, what's a soldier? Gonna grab this. Oh boy! Yeah, this looks like a mess, like real mess. Oh, you uh, I'll stay here and guard this area. Hey, you stay there, man. You stay there. So you you guys remember when I talked about that they have done a uh, oh boy they are not good at uh, this is not yeah they could do a better job at choosing the containment glass for these head crabs if all it took was them to just attack and break it but look at this <laughs> they are containment areas for these. Yeah, look at you. There we go. So they had containment areas for these head crabs. Uh, what's over here? Oh, this is. Oh, that is nice. That is. That is actually really nice. Okay. But yeah, this glass, breakable glass. Oh man, that's that's not good. What is here? Boxes! Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. The good thing I did not go all crazy and broke all the boxes. Holy shit. 
I think one of the soldiers are onto us, guys. I think one of these has it. Uh, what's called has environmental combat units have figured out that that Gordon dude, he runs around with a crowbar and he smashes boxes. I'm gonna place down a mine for for him for these boxes things. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oh. Bows around and grab some ammunition and yeah, let's um yeah, let's not waste let's not fiddle with that. Okay. We need to go up here. Uh yeah. Okay, glass breaking, that's always a nice sound. Oh look at it go. Uh I think it's time for a little bit of Hunting. Oh, look at how heavy it is. Oh, it's, it was so heavy for it to find a friend. Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna be your friend, but yes, don't let that uh, not uh, uh, unencourage you. Um. Uh, oh, this is. This. I mean, they have batteries. Oh! Oh boy, oh boy. Ah! They were all vampires from the start. We know that vamp vamp only vampires will die with from a uh, crossbow bolt to the face, right? <laughs> Hands up in the chat, how many of you guys have seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Don't be shy. I know. Uh, there's probably a few, if not all of you guys who have seen it. Ooh, the red button turned on the, la uh, the laser here. Okay. You have, Cora, you have not seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer? You need to see, have you seen the trailer for it at least? If not, you, you sir, you sir needs to go and watch the trailer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's the best. That is the best. Oh man, I have forgotten about this section. <laughs> Look, this, this, these skeletons was part once a scientist and a god, <laughs> and the god was testing out this gun. <laughs> yeah, let's pick it up. Look at this. Look at this pretty gun. It's basically a sap sappy sap. <laughs> yeah, rip. <laughs> uh this looks like this a mono. Yep. More laser. Always need more laser. I'm not sure why, but we <gasps> We have combat music. It means we need to find something to kill. No. Oh, we have friends. Let's try this gun out. <laughs> oh boy, this gun is crazy. Oh, and more ammunition. <laughs> more health and more laser. This cannot. This cannot become any better. This cannot be a better day. Boxes. Let's find some more friends with this gun. Hello? Oh, look at them! <laughs> <laughs> Let's try the single use. Okay, two shots. One shot. <laughs> this gun is insane. Um. I can't remember if you can see it, 
uh, when we roll this. But what you see rolling around in the in the chamber of the gun is the power batteries that we are powering our suit with. Just to tell you uh, <laughs> how crazy this gun is. <laughs> it's a crazy gun, and sadly, it's as far as I remember, it is not. It is not in uh, in uh, in Half Life Two. Okay, so we have powered up this primary laser. Let's have a look here. Just, just gonna test testing. Do not obstruct laser shield. Wow, look at this science. Look at this silence. Hmm. I do wonder when the sensei say do not obstruct. Nothing, uh, nothing, nothing should obstruct science, right? I mean, so we can't have this shield to obstruct our science work. There we go. And look at this. Ah, science! That, that is a insane laser that it just, it just, it, it's not just burning a hole in the wall, but it just breaks a wall. But the slap! Man, that is, that is cool. Okay. So we are in here now. Oh, uh, we need to be careful here. Uh, Ah! We do need the ninja thing here. Okay. Aha! Uh, yeah, Buffy the, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a... Correct me if I'm wrong here, Soldier Boy Ace. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure you know this better than me but I think Buffy the Vampire Slayer was a 80s series I'm not sure but I have a feeling I have a vague feeling about it uh, of a teenage girl running around and murdering vampires but mostly but also supernatural beings and basically just be, a, be cute while, while she did that 1988 yeah 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 my birth year, 1988, yeah. Okay, so there, the escape plan. Oh, okay, you found a new number, Kura. <laughs> Alright, so while we wait for Kura to figure out the big mystery of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, uh, these scientists, they decide to hide in here and turn on this, this thing. I'm not sure what function this has, though it, it's other than being a sh great shish kebab machine. Um... That poor fellow scientist did, however, not really get through and come back. Uh, so we are gonna have to, have to run the gauntlet here. Ah! And turn it off. Aha! And we can open this, right? No. Ah! We opened it. Didn't we leave a dude here? Didn't we like leave the... Ah, never mind then. Uh, let's grab the 1997 to 2003. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Wait, can I only have one scientist with me? Oh, I can have two. Gotta bring all of the scientists. Yes. Glad you oblige yourself, Simon. 
going to stay here and wait for my call. Okay, ah, uh, it's because he's care. stuck. He's stuck. Uh, let's see if we can hurt him towards the exit. Yeah, there we go. Look at this, guys. We you got. Have to leave me here, no, no, I'm not gonna leave you there because you three are now officially part of my TNT crew. We just need to find the guardsman, so we have the monk. And while we're looking for him, you you three have to think about what kind of characters you want to be. And no, you can't all be all three be wizards. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. Yes. I know. I've been a game master for twenty years. Okay, come on. Oh my God, they're dogs. Okay, we can't. I'm I'm just gonna go with you, uh, Mister Mister Eyes. Oh wait, I think this is actually the wrong way. Yeah, this is the wrong way. We need to go the other way. Okay, final chance, guys. Final chance to come with me. Oh man, they are really not happy to follow. Okay, come on, come on, man, dude. Come on, come on, we can do this, come on, you two, you and me, we are gonna do stuff. Okay, one moment, I need to put some energy into my earphones. One sec, one sec. Um, there we go, haha. -ha. And for that, I'm a little bit thirsty, so cheers. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Always good with a little drink. Okay. You're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. What? We're like this close? Come on, come on. No, no, no. You said you had Reginald's scan thing. Yeah, come on. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. It's just this. Just this. You can do it. Come on. Whoa, oh boy. Yeah, do the original scan thing. I'm just gonna grab this. It's hell out there. It's completely under military control. You'll have to sneak and fight your way from one end to the other. And I don't expect you'll meet many of our peers along the way. But if you do survive and somehow make it across the base, you'll end up at the Lambda complex, where the rest of the science team has taken shelter. I wouldn't venture there myself. But I will let them know that you are coming. How are you gonna let them know? Okay. Bye. <laughs> uh, okay. Guys, you th did you think that it was our bloody suit that that, that got the better of him? Is a bloody suit too much for a game master? Probably is. Yes. Aha. Okay. So we are going out here and getting to. Oh, I see a dude. Do we have any? We have a little bit more shots. Let's, let's, let's try and do this. Oh, damn! Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow, they have really messed up this place. Okay. So this is this area is as the scientists said, set under military control. So we are basically stepping up from one frying pan and into another. Ooh, we have boxes. Ha! Ah. Loading up. Loading up. Okay, let's have a look. Ah. Surface tension. Oh boy, is it was a Oh 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so this area is really on the military control. It was just not something they said. Fuel storage. Who has fuel storage in the middle of the road here? I mean, that is so dangerous. Okay. Um, moving around. Oh, look at this. Oh, boy. This is a damn control. We have a chop. We have a chopper here. Uh, oh man, do we have even have anything at all? Nope. We don't. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, that was a cannon. I have a cannon. Okay. Uh. We're gonna sneak in here. Oh, uh. We do not. We are not equipped to deal with this at all. Maybe we took care of that guy. Uh, turbine control. Sure, let's fiddle with that. We still don't have anything we can do with that helicopter. Uh, if we had, hadn't squandered with the ammunition on the, on the big scientific gun, we could use it to handle, we'll handle the chopper. Uh, but we, whoa, God, we have this. Oh no, go away, go away, mushroom. Go away, IST monster. We don't want. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! 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 The ice team monster got us. I actually have forgotten there was an ice team monster down there. <laughs> okay, let's go down. Where is the ice team monster? I know you're here somewhere. Where are you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh. Yeah, go away, you. Oh boy, he is really mad at us. Okay, I think we got him. Okay. So, very nice. Let's uh <laughs> let's uh let's try and get the hell out of here. Um uh, doing this, please, a little bit faster. A little bit faster. Oh, there we go. Going down here and Whew. Oh boy, we still have it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Better did we lose a helicopter? I think we did, guys. I think we we we, we got out of away from the helicopter. Let's just get in here. There we go. Whew. Okay. I think that's actually the first time I ever played this part of the game without being able to do anything with a helicopter. Mm. It gave you some pretty good tension. Oh man! No. No. Go away, helicopter. Are you there? Okay, so the helicopter is not happy of hit crap side. Uh, neither am I, but let's just... Oh boy. Um... We got a bit of ammunition now for this. This is the gun that I talked about before. Uh, 
Okay, so this gun is basically the one that can uh, help us with the uh, with the chopper. Kind of kind of tells us how powerful the gun actually is. Um, okay, so we are somewhere in the desert, in the New Mexico desert, with military all over the place. Now we have it. Whoa. Okay. Let's let's see if we can't deal with it. Let's see if we can't deal with this. Just gonna say. Just be uh, one hun one hundy. Where are you? Ah, where are you, chopper? There you are. Whoop. Ow. <laughs> okay. But there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the crazy gun of doom. Um, basically just two shot a, a, a attack helicopter. I think it's because we basically what we do is it, it shoots a concentrated laser or something like that. And nonetheless, it is badass. Um, let's have a look here. Oh boy. Ah! Is there more? Oh, look at this. So nice. Oh! Okay. I really want the loot, guys. I really want the loot. Um. Let's have a little small short break for a small second and uh, You want the nuke? You can't handle the nuke! You can't handle the nuke? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome home. Oh, what? This? <laughs> oh, yes, it's that kind of a drink, yeah. But say hello to, uh, to Silky Boy Ace and uh, Kura. And we had uh, we had Snigger on uh, for a moment, and also Green Arc Mage. So. Okay, <laughs> let's let's see if we can do the sneak sneak here and get some of the things. So this is a tentacle thing. Remember, it is it's, sound sensitive. It's sound sensitive. Yeah, it is. I can do this. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy, no, 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 why am I stuck? Ah, <laughs> I'm stuck because it, it hurt me pick up the stuff, apparently. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can do this again. Um, do That's even what you get for being greedy. Oh, yeah, I know, but it's so nice. Look at that. <laughs> You're so nice. Ow, 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 okay, okay. Okay, there we go. Let's quickly grab stuff. I run. Whoa. Ah. Hey. Hi. Yali, come again, Yali. Yali, Okay. Uh, one <laughs> second, guys. Let's take a little pee break and continue <laughs> afterwards.
All right. Keep break is done. I hope for you guys. Um, which means there's more room for this. Mmm. Nice rum and go. I'm not sure if any. Are you guys uh, drinking something at the moment? Either water, coffee. Uh, crazy cocktails? I don't know. Ah, look at this. Whoa. We have more friends. So many. But look at this. We have more snarks. Snarky snarks. Oh boy, but we did not get this. Uh, I think we have enough. Yeah, we have enough. Grenados. Grenadas. Yeah, go away. Gonna grab that. Um. Ooh, look at this. We found a way out. Uh, mines? Mines. Ah, uh, they call it a mine. mine. Yeah. A mine. a mine. Okay, so there's loot over there. Um, I don't think we have anything to actually, uh, know, uh, feel out where the mines are. Uh, of course we have our, <laughs> we have our snacks. But I think the best way for us is actually to try and grenade it. Like this. Okay, so far so good. Oh, look at this. Ammunition and stuff. Oh, we can even go through here, I think. Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm not sure what where that took us, but it took us... Ah, here! Um, but I'm not sure... This is, looks closed. So we cannot... We cannot go through there yet. Ha! Ah, how weird. There was some grenades there. Uh, let's go through here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh, so far so good. We got ourselves into some well place else. Where are we? This taking us though. Just gotta take out our crossbow. Uh, sneaky sneak. We have a goodie store there. This looks like a trap. I mean, it's... Oh, we have a soldier. Damn it! It was too fast. Where did these guys come from? We, uh, Buffy, wa Buffy Vampire Slayed them there. Aha! Take good care of them. Alright. Uh, why have they placed that there? They have placed a trip mine here in the back. Oh, there's, we have some ammunition here. We've been stockpiling some ammunition in uh, small caves. Why this? Look at this. Or maybe it's because they, to make sure that uh, nothing came from behind. It came from behind. Storm drain hatch. So that was the thing that we looked at there in the middle of the minefield. Um, yeah. So 
So this is, I think this is the outskirts of a Black Mesa uh, research facility. As you can see here, they have the towers and these walls. Very not, yeah, storm drain hatch. Uh, the, um, yeah. Very nice. That's have a sneak snark here. Sneaky sneak. We have destroyed this. So we can go over here. Ah, look at this. The storm hatch is open. Oh. Ah! Second try. And our friend, the good old master, Mr. Ladder. <laughs> ah, no, no! <laughs> I hate ladders. Like, oh boy, I hate ladders so much. And we're here. Okay, let's quickly grab this. Uh, I don't think there's anything here either. Yeah, this. Ow. I'm just. I'm just gonna hassle it now. Whoa! Minor uh, we can't have that. You, sir, go down. Uh, moving on. Moving on. I am uh, going this a little bit fast so you can, uh, so we get to the good stuff, you know, the good stuff. Okay. So far so good. Let's save. It's so weird it doesn't have, it doesn't also, also save there. Uh, after you have opened the hatch. It says no, no, no. Okay, so we know there's some soldiers around here. Let's see if we can be a little bit more stealthy about this. I'm not sure where the where the other soldiers comes from though. Okay, we have a soldier there. You can see his foot. He is so fast. Okay, they come from everywhere. Ah, uh, never mind. Hello, welcome to the stream wipeout, Jesse. Nice to have you around. <laughs> we are in the midst of the solving the great mystery of the storm drain hatch. <laughs> there we go. Um, spoiler alert, we did solve it before, but our good old friend, uh, Mr. Lannis, <laughs> took our health. Uh, took our lives last time. Uh, we actually tried to go down there. In some ways, we are, as Gordon Freeman, we are very much like um, like the Space Marines. Our worst enemy is stairs. <laughs> the fall damage in this game is not. It, it is. It is no joke. It's, you fall down, you die, and that's it. <laughs> you're just you're just instantly killed. Um, Okay, let's try to do this again. Jump over. Gonna do the smart thing now and do the save. There we go. Please, ladder. Please, please. Be, be a friend. Be a chump. Be a chump. Be a chump. No! Oh, oh God. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We, we got the ladder. <laughs> give me, give me monsters, tanks, and whatever, <laughs> but not not, not ladders, please, just not ladders. Hmm. <laughs> nom nom nom. Today's drink is rum and coke, uh, accompanied with a little bit of cold coffee and some water. <laughs> We are on our. Um, ooh, we're getting getting some uh, some music now. Oh, look at this!
Whoa, whoa boy. Oh, uh, pistol. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have an F-16. Can we lob a grenade over there? <laughs> we we could. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, of course we could. I knew everything. I knew exactly how what I was doing. <laughs> Not. Not really. Oh. Haha! <laughs> and now we just need to buff your vamp vampire slayer this whole place <laughs> with our crossbow. But yeah, we're getting some nice music. I hope you guys can hear the music. Good old nostalgic classic music. So look at this. We have to do there. Ha! Buffy! Ha! We buffied him. Oh, we should probably not play too much around. We have 28 health left. We have... Whew! We have still 28 health left. Okay. So, here we have it. The the Grand Mesa of the Black... Near the Black Mesa Complex. Um, this is a really cool view here. Uh, it's a really awesome scene though here as well. You really get to sneak around and do combat while balancing and not trying not to fall to your death. Um, Hulu? And anyone there? There? <laughs> ha ha! Um, I really hope, yeah, nice, okay, um, now we just need to figure out where to, oh, right, oh, we have a friend down there, oh, what the hell, oh boy, oh, did we get him, nope, whew, 12 health, ah, oh, that's fine, okay, it, it's fine, <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> we, we we can we we can we can solve. Okay. Wait, maybe. Okay. <laughs> well, let's try that again. Let's let's try that again. With it. Johnny, I just want to tell you. Yeah. That there is laughter. There's laughter. Add your pain. And pain. No, no, laughter at your pain. Oh. They laugh at your pain. Oh, I'm... <laughs> First try. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, let's try this again. <laughs> we have the dude down there. Oh. There we go. I think it's been playing it a lot. Too. Oh, why am I talking? Oh, you you want to talk? Uh, yeah, chat, chat. I think that he has been playing it a lot too. <laughs> yeah, I have been playing this game a lot. I mean, if you guys re if you guys remember the old, uh, can I snipe this guy just on the arm? Ha! <laughs> I could. Yeah. Nice. He has been playing it a lot. I played this game since yeah. the orange box came out. Uh, actually, I think it's. Gee, Bear, what's the orange box? Uh, gee, what is the orange box? I'll tell uh, you. I, the I generally don't know. No. Oh, you don't know? No. Okay. The orange box was Valve's. Um, I think they they had the first game. Oh, let's take it. And let's do the save. Just, uh, just to be sure. Um, the orange box uh, was the first game. Uh, time the they actually uh, Valve uh, sent out uh, the game where you could buy the so-called orange box that had the original Half-Life game and then uh, uh, you could uh, later on buy the uh, orange box with the blue shift and opposing force in it. The good old CDs, you know. You know remember the good covers where you clicked it open. 
especially when they were brand new, it was just really hard to open it. It's just a, uh, open it, and then we had these those good old CDs stuck in in the plastic, and you had to try and rest, wrestle with it, get the CDs out without breaking it. And I remember I was always so super nervous about that, just trying to get the CD out, and it almost always felt like I was about to just break. <laughs> the CD in the the, the CD in the process of actually getting it out of that. Uh, oh man, the memories. <laughs> okay, let's let's try and see if we can do this. This time, oh, we have a dude there. Ha <laughs> Snipe, snipe. Please. Uh. Okay. Nice! I did it! I did it! Mwah, mwah. That's uh, that's just safe. Just be sure. I'm not, I, I don't I want don't want to do that again, in general. Um. Oh, we have health pack over there. We have something that can power up our suit so we can get some damage reduction. Well, this looks safe. Um. Yeah, we just save. And we ah uh, we can't go around. Um, whoop whoop! <laughs> oh boy, this better this better be worth it. This better be worth it. Oh man, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Um. You know what? Maybe. No, I rem I I vaguely remember what is. Further on, we actually need that stupid battery thing. Okay, how are we? How should we strategically do this? Let's do. How about we try and do the jump thing? Hoop, hoop, nah. Hoop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's try this again. This is. We're gonna get it. We're we're gonna beat this bridge, and we're gonna be. Awfully happy about this. Can I just move on here on the side of it? Really? Is that the thing? Is that the thing you need to do? Did I just... Are you gonna ballerina this? Alright, I am I feel super stupid now. <laughs> I feel super stupid now. Okay, you are just gonna balance... On, on, on the rope thing. Okay, I got that. Okay, fair enough. We live and we learn. Um, for those of you who just arrived, welcome to the stream of Half Life. We are currently enjoying the beautiful view of the vista, the me mesa of uh, outside, just outside the Black Mesa facilities. We saw a beautiful black uh, F-16. Oh. Ah, ow! Fly by, and we have these beautiful gents. Oh man, I was just about to say, "Fuck me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die now." Okay, it's awesome. Oh, look at this beauty! Haha! <laughs> look at this. We have. Can't open this. Oh, we have a chopper. Is four rockets enough for a chopper? Nope. So, we have uh, currently a situation of military guys who think that we are a security risk just because we opened a tiny bit, little bit of a wormhole and invited some aliens. Some aliens yeah, to our world for tea. Yeah, you know who's boss? The what the guy with the suitcase is boss. <laughs> oh no. The ladder. Our our nemesis. I'm just gonna save. I think I'm saving more with the ladders than I'm saving with bot when bot with boss encounters. Ugh. Okay, we got
got it. We got up. Okay, we gotta be careful here and not fall down. Remember what I said, the fall damage is our biggest enemy in this game. Just like it is the biggest enemy of uh, Space Marines for all of you guys who is a 40k fan. Those grand, big, bulky fellas. Oh, gotta save again. Those grand, bulky fellas in the biggest armor and all that, they can still break their neck from falling downstairs. Uh, aha! Okay. We are doing this. We have a well here. Oh! Ah, oh, you bastard! Damn you! Damn head crap! Okay, but at least we are away from that <laughs> from falling damage. Um, now we just need to. Yeah, now we just need to actually just get some. I think actually we are okay, good with ammunition, right? Yeah, we. Oh, we're getting some battle music now. Okay, we are getting some battle music. Okay, we're gonna go this way. That's because. Yeah, let's see if we can't do something fun here. Doing a sneak sneak. Whoop. Gotta be like the small cockroaches getting under their feet. Oh, that's a tank. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm very focused on the tank, that's probably not a good thing. Oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Ammunition depleted my ass. Okay, uh... Oh, oh boy! <laughs> Buffy, don't let me down now. Don't let me down! Ha! Never, never underestimate a scientist with a tranquilizer gun. A tranquilizer crossbow in this sense. And we all have healthy 15 health. We're still doing fine. We're doing good. We're doing good. We have a beautiful tank here who can't shoot at us. Ooh. We have a gift wrapped in a uh, gift rack pack. Oh, so many. Oh, man, this is... Oh, and there's more health here. I'm just gonna, you know, just get some health here. For you, those of you considering why I took this path, and if, if it was just a luck guess, I vaguely remember that if you went the other path, you would just be dead. <laughs> um, I vaguely remembered. Uh, another gift. There we have it. I think that is. I can't remember. I actually think either that is the first or the second tank that Gordon Freeman has personally broken. Um, I have looked up that the, the maybe the the hazard environment, environmental uh, combat unit hates Gordon Freeman because he is a bastard who is killing their friends. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can see there's so many holes you could go pop up in. Um, but I have a feeling that the military department is gonna hate. It's gonna hate uh, Golden Freeman as well because holy crap, we are destroying a lot of hardware doing our thing here. Hello? Oh! <laughs> uh, hello there! Yeah, sorry. I can I can do the same. I can do the same. Look, look, mom. 
Ah. Ah. Okay, maybe I cannot do it as quickly as you can. Whoa. Okay. I am not certain if we can destroy this thing though. Oh yes, we can. Didn't we? Yeah! We did it, of course. I knew we could destroy that thing. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh. It is a weekday, that is true. And we have neighbors. And I shouldn't be so excited about destroying military no, hardware. Adorable. I'm adorable. Yeah. I'm a dorps, apparently. Adorbs are now. Ooh, we have gift for friends again. And the table thinks you're good at the game, but before he managed to ride it, you died. <laughs> Thank you, Sylvia Boye, for your uh, <laughs> for your belief in my skills. <laughs> oh, yeah. But yeah, we are slowly winding down the gaming. Um, let's see, what is the time? The time is half past ten. Half past ten. So I think maybe gonna go for half an hour more and then uh, gonna wind down. Uh, see, we have played for two and a half hour. So on the three hour mark, we're gonna we're gonna stop uh, wind down and stop the stream. Let me see if I can find a uh, just as good. Uh, oh oh boy, that's a grenade. <laughs> they want gifts. Oh, they are giving me all the gifts of friends. Uh, I can do the same. Friends, let's be friends. I'm sending offerings of friendship. Uh, offerings of friendship. Offerings of friendship? Oh boy. Yes, offerings of friendship. But yeah, but we, uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can find a, um, a, uh, a good point to, uh, whoa. Ah! To, uh... Okay, this soup talking is a little bit sometimes interrupting me in the speech. But yeah, I'm gonna try and see if I can find a good spot to end the stream. Um, can I? Maybe even try and see if I can find a good... Why, why did we go down here? Uh, why? That's a really good question, Bear. Why the hell did we go down there? Uh, I don't know. Guess we're gonna go out again. But yeah, see if I can find a good place to uh, have a good cliffhanger. I'm not sure if I can beat the cliffhanger like last time. Poke? Oh, it. This seems like a trap. Ordnance. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Is this a? Oh yeah, this is a scripted thing, so I need to wait for it to. Oh man, this is. Bubble up, bubble up, and run up. Oh, we have an alien. Oh boy, we have a alien flyer. Oh, and a F F16. Mines. There we have it. Good look of a grand soldier as well. Still again. With this nice half gun. So yeah, so we can see that it's actually it's not only the battle on the ground. It's uh, actually also a uh, battle on uh, in the air right now. Aww. Really? High security storage facility. Authorized personnel only. I'm authorized. I mean, this is dangerous. I'm somewhat authorized. I mean, I don't have the original scan thing, and I'm basically only on my third day <laughs> on the job. But uh, I'm still authorized. I hope I get paid. I hope I get my. 
Oh boy, that is this is not looking good. I hope they are insured. Awakening some good music here. I'm gonna save. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trusting that nest again. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Um. Hmm. I guess we'll do this. Yeah, I knew it. I knew there was some down, some something in the, in there. Okay, uh, let's see if we can jump over this. <sighs> this place. I can help lighting your load, taking your shotgun. I hope that will help, <laughs> at least. Still can't get in here. Ordnance storage facility. Why would they have mines around the ordnance facility? Um, um, I still don't have any... Uh, do I have... Oh, I have grenades. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, that's. Ha! We actually managed to trigger the mine here. Okay. Okay, we did it. Man, mines are no joke. Just sneaking around. Oh, oh boy, that's a dude. Uh. Ow! Dude! Dude! I'm trying to be sneaky here. Oh, you want to be a friend? I can be your friend. What? Really? Ow. Really? I have one grenade left. Why won't you die? Ah, oh, he just needed the right, the right motivation, the right, the right gift. I just need to find the right gift. Okay, this looks, this does not look dangerous at all. Can I? Hmm. Please, no mind, no mind, no mind, no mind, no mind, no mind. Okay. Are we just here at this electrical place? Uh, oh boy, this is bad. Running through it! Can I go through here? No. Am I gonna run this gauntlet? Really? You, you, you want me to run this death? Death gauntlet? Um, I can do that. Let me just do the save thing here. Do my take my out my lucky crowbar. Oh boy! Run, run, run! Ah, okay, never mind. It's not that's not how it works. Uh, can we explode this? Ah, we did it with explosives. When in doubt, use use. Explosives. We should know that. We should know this. Okay. I have a hole there. I'm not sure why we the hell we. It seems like we're gonna go into the ordnance facility for some reason. Uh, I guess we can't do this. Yeah, there's a scientist dude down there. Hey, you wanna be a part of my D and D group? Did you say something? Oh, let me let me come down to you. You're heading for the Lambda complex, aren't you? I was heading there myself to drive around up here. Well, since they've lost my nerve, take one look through that door and you'll see what I mean. I'm just going to wait out the catastrophe in here. 
If you intend to go on, then I beg of you, proceed with extreme caution. Proceed with extreme caution. I mean, come on. We are, our middle name is Caution. Right? <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> let's, let's, let's see if we can find some grenades and fix this. Gonna break ourselves some uh, boxes here and. Ah! Oh. Oh. Security is everyone's responsibility. Yeah, that's nice with all these trip mines. There we go. You can go through here. Yeah. Let's just break some more boxes here. We got trip mines. You know what? Uh, I w he he needs to be part be part of the team as well, right? So we better as well. Let's go. I'm sure it is for your safety, sir. <laughs> it is for your safety. <laughs> okay. Um. <gasps> Let's check this box. Snake under here. Gonna, gonna. Oh man, really? We can't. Oh, I felt so clever about this. Uh, wait. Oh, I can, I can balance. Remember, uh, we have taken, we have taken balance, ballerina, uh, whew. ballerina training courses apparently. Can we open this door without dying? Yeah, we can. Okay, so far, so extremely good. Ah! I think we made a boo-boo, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> we made a boo-boo. Uh, we destroy something we shouldn't destroy. Um, let's try this again. Can leave this present for our friend here. Gonna jump over here. Gonna go over here. Uh, go in here and not destroy every crate that we see, because apparently that is a trap. Yeah, look at this. Oh man. I think the military guys has learned out learned that the the weird crowbar wielding dude is destroying boxes. Oh fuck me, look at this. Can we get up here? No. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh boy. We have a damn. This is so we have two missiles in here, filled up with uh, what? Mi no, 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 no. Where? Where did you go? Ow! 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 ow. Go away! Go away! Do not. No. Bad head crap. Okay, so we have this place. Completely filled up with strip wires, where there is gasoline, uh, rocket fuel, and rockets. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is bad. Uh, I'm not even sure where to go. You know what? Let's uh, let let's just add to security, eh? Let's just uh, you know, at least this one is, looks lonely. Let's go. Gotta do our best to uh, secure the property of Black Mesa. While not trying not to blow ourselves up in the process. Hello? Let's get the, our lucky crowbar here. This looks like a scripted path to go. I'm sure nothing would go wrong destroying this. Having trip wire trip mines on either side of this box. Okay, gonna save. 
gotta save. Gotta save. Better saved, I'm sorry. Okay, this guy is roasted. He's hot. Uh, same as that guy over there. Okay. Mortify. Let's see. I think we can. Ah! Our limbo lessons have paid off. Ha! You can just laugh at everyone who's laughed at us when we did the limbo classes during college. Never did they know that our awesome skills in limbo would pay off today. Hmm. Jump! <laughs> ah, we did it! Okay, so, important lesson here. I remember vaguely that I died once back in the day, just pressing this button because I saw a button. Uh, what we see here, ladies and gentlemen, is a clever trap from the developers. Because pressing this button, this elevator will go up, and this fine little box, you know, yeah, it's gonna go up and trip this damn, uh, <laughs> damn, damn thing. Uh, we need to, we need to finish off this box. There we go. Can't press this. There we go. Everything is fine. Just gonna save. <laughs> Just to be sure. Because <laughs> I vaguely really remember that we can walk onto this, right? <gasps> Just look at how dangerous this is. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to do the leap of faith. Because we want to be get onto this elevator thing here. <sighs> I'm not sure how we did this, but we did. I'm going to take it. And I'm gonna press this button before I'm gonna do anything stupid. Uh, <laughs> okay. What's that? That looks like it's a hive thing. Oh, it's a hive thing! Aha! We have our first alien gun. You remember the grunts? Uh, those big, hunky things, soldiers running around shooting uh, small flies. We have flies now, ladies and gentlemen. We have unlimited ammo. Unlimited ammo! Uh, le unlimited lackey ammo, apparently. Do not stack. But this ammo... Ah! It does destroy. We can't destroy it. I was about to say, this weapon is not good enough. It cannot destroy crates. But again, we just need to use the second fire that which propels basically empties empties this gun for uh, for these small flies thing. Oh yeah, let's just oh our favorite ammunition. We can do highly experimental shooty shoot now. I was about welcome to the stream if anyone new has arrived. Oh! Oh boy! Let's save this! With our. As you can see, the ammunition is basically heat seeking. Whoa! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! That was a very good shot. Oh boy, oh boy, run, 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 run. Oh boy. We have only eight. Ah. Okay. It is a fire dandy weapon. It only has eight ammunition, so it's holy crap. That. Ow. Well, we don't have much life right now. Uh, let's see if this dude has anything to say to us. Okay, we might live longer if we work together. Oh, m no, we, we, that is the wisest words I have ever heard. And let's see if we can live a little longer. Confined space. Uh, okay. A military truck. 
Oh, oh boy, oh boy. I remember it. I remember there was something about this truck. Um, let's wait for it to sleep. Fall asleep, fall asleep. Little turret, fall asleep. There's no Gordon, there's no Gordon. There's no Gordon Freeman here. You want to go to sleep so I can shoot you with my shotgun. You want to go to sleep. I am really not good at turret lullabies, apparently. <laughs> it stinks a little bit. Uh, <laughs> you don't say so. Yeah, that's... I, I need some attention. Oh boy, that's some... Um, Is there a alien here? No. Okay, let's uh, see if we can find some M. Of course, there's no health here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're just gonna save, you know. It's fine. It's fine. We are coming up on, slowly coming up on the three hour mark here. Let's poke a little eye out and see what the hell is going on out here. We are hearing alien flyers and if teens flying around doing all sorts of damage. Oh, we have a oh boy. What? Dude, run! We do not want to I guess that solves it. <laughs> With enough explosives solves things and we're not gonna have this guy Joining our D and D party. I mean, it's, I think we're down to just. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think we're down to just Freeman again. Uh, let's just try and. Bam. 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 Whew. Oh boy. Sixteen health. Sixteen health. We can do this. We can be cowboys. We can be cowboys. We have two. <laughs> <laughs> two pe two two bullets left. What can we okay that's a tank. Ah, uh, what can we do with the tank? We have this. We have this bad boy, ladies and gentlemen. You know, remember the 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 chopper killer, the awesome thing. Let's try and see if we can't do something about this. Uh I'm just gonna save. Gonna save, man. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's a good thing we saved there. Uh, turn this up. And it is full charge now. Uh, Did you guys see that? Sorry. I remember to keep a, a less high and excited uh, sound since we are actually pretty late here. Did you guys see that? <laughs> we one shot at a tank with this <laughs> with this gun. <laughs> that was cool. That was actually pretty cool. <laughs> Let's break these boxes. Oh man, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Say it. Say the numbers. <laughs> the game is too easy now, you say? Yeah. I mean, we have a uh, awesome gun uh, that is basically breaking the fourth wall with us. And we have an alien gun. Oh, and we have our little snarky friends. Little snarkies. Look at it. Oh, he's so happy to see our hand. <laughs> Um cannot remember anything about this place. Uh, oh boy. Okay, 
they have really sold it to just bomb the shit out of this place. There is no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, the boss is in there? Okay, uh... Yeah, you'll, you you have to excuse my friends. I, I only have this. Ow! It did not... There we go. He was expensive. He cost us like two shotties. Welcome to the stream, whoever has joined. Um... We are basically trying to survive this mess of alien invasion and military suppressive fire. Mm, a convenient open door. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can. Nope. Uh, there's the door here. Uh, this gun is nice, so I think we're gonna go with the shotgun here. Oh boy, yep, we are gonna go with. Ow. Anyone else? Hello? Oh. Okay. Anyone else? Any more friends? No? Okay, let me uh, just break these boxes. Ah. Sing it, sister. Just sing the words. Sing the numbers for me. Mm, okay. Let's have a little look. What is up here? Oh, we. I see blue. Blue is good. Blue is good. What the hell are you doing up here? Hey. What's up? Just casually standing here. What's up, Gordon? How are you doing? All throughout personnel in the ooh, storage. Can you open this? Yeah, open the treachery. Let me see the treachery. Aha! Uh -huh. Christmas. It is, it is simply Christmas here. Oh man, look at all this. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, we have. Oh yes, we have packages for friends. We don't need this, but we need this. Oh my, look at this. Ha! <laughs> all this ammunition. We are gonna get stuck. Oh man, look at this. And they even kept a few boxes for us. They even kept a few boxes. There we go. This is probably the best place for me to stop this stream. Uh, we have gone through hell and back again. We were dumped into a cro massive crusher. Uh, we got out of the crusher, swam through, like used our awesome cockroach skills to get out of a uh, waste disposal site in the Black Mesa. And for some reason, we found ba found our way back into the Black Mesa facility and into a uh, ordnance facility filled up with all kinds of good stuff, explosive stuff, you know, of the good explosive things. And we got through that. And now we're here in the mix of it all. We have alien flies flying over our heads. We have... F-16s flying around. We have plenty of friends to to have a look at, and we can even. I mean, this is just this is just amazing. This is just a good place. This is a good place to stop. But before we stop, you guys are gonna be a little experiment here. I'm gonna try something that I haven't done. I'm gonna try something I haven't done before. And the thing is, the popular kids are calling it raid. I have actually never tried to raid anyone, uh, and I kind of feel bad about that. So I am going to see if I can figure out how to do that, because it would be fun. It would be fun to see if I can find someone 
that we can uh, can rate all together. Um, do you have any uh, preferred uh, themes that you want to rate? Uh, anything specific? You can uh, please write it in the, in the stream chat. Well, I'll try to figure out how we do the rate thing. Uh, I really hope that I am not pumping you all up for something that I'm maybe not maybe may not can't be able to do. But I vaguely remember that I read somewhere that I could do a raid. Uh, see, is it on the stream? No. There should be a should be a way for me to do a little a little Viking raid here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it this? No. This no. Oh, maybe we can try this. Write in the in the chat if you know what you want to. If you have any ideas that you want, where you want to get rated to. Basically, if you're not sure what rate is, why why am I rambling on about rate? Rate is basically where we together are joining another stream. All of us, all of us together, uh, and just you know, there will be usually be a big. Bam! We are raiding someone, and it's it's fun. I just need to. Again, this is a test. I've never tried it before. But I thought I think I want to give I want to give something back to the community. Um. So you just be patient with me for a little moment. Uh. You just do. Whenever in doubt, you can always go through your way to this. Everything you need to know about rate. Uh, this must be the, the right thing to go into. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. This must be number three. Rate command. Rate, this is command. This is rate command. Uh, okay. So wait, you write a command. So once you inform the viewers about what's going on to happen, I think we have covered that base. We have informed you we're gonna raid. Uh, uh, you can enter the Twitch raid command slash raid and a channel name. Okay, so we need a channel name. So I need to have a little look around. Let me let me hey guys, let me uh, go in here and open the monitor. Now you can see everything, everything we are here, and we're gonna have a little look, a little little tiny look on if we can find anything fun to look, to rate, and let's go see if we can test this. Come test this out. So yeah, uh, have any of you any good ideas on wh where you want to go? Any, uh, any ideas on uh, what kind of... Uh, Is Boris streaming? No, I don't think so. He said with a very little confidence. Let me check. Uh, <gasps> I don't have to subscribe to the 100 year bar. I'm not subscribed to the 100... Oh, I can't even spell here. 100 year bar. 100 year bar? Is that how? Yeah, the 100 years bar. Like the 100 years bar. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna make sure to follow him and let's see if he's streaming. I'm not sure if he's streaming. Uh, no, he is offline, so that doesn't work. Yeah, uh, he probably starts his stream in an hour. Mm, probably, but I, uh, I mean, it's it's either send these nice people on to the next adventure or play another hour. Then. Just let just let them go, Bjorn. I want to try this raid thing. Uh, oh, let me just kill this. Uh, is there anything that you guys want to uh, see? Should I see if there's a... Uh, should I see if there's a uh, Conan or something going on? I'm just going to ch check something here. Uh... Man, it's been ages since I actually been uh, looking for anything. 
uh, any uh, other streams. Let's see if we can if there's anyone that we can read. Um, noise of uh, first ever try. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, Reroll time. Time to carry everyone. Okay. <laughs> what is this? this is okay, I'm not sure what that is. Um, we just joining ourselves here, having a little bit of fun. Fanatics. I'm not sure what that is even either. Um, okay, let's see. What is this? This is. Uh, I really want to support someone who has doesn't have that many viewers. You know that? You know what I mean? It's a small, you know, it's a small little tight community. Um, what is this? What are they playing? Hmm. Let's see. What, what is this? Let's have a look. Let's have a little look. What is this? Uh, this is, the person is currently uh, not there. <laughs> but he's apparently playing a game called Noit Noita. Noita, I'm not sure what that is. But he's not there, and yeah, let's see if we can find someone else. Browse. Oh, there's a whole browsing thing here. Okay, we have some different things. We can go into World of Warcraft, Dragonflight, if you want to go into that. Ooh, Sons of Forest. That is actually an interesting thing that I've considered to play at some point. Mm. Yeah, let's see. Let's, let's see if there's anything in here. Uh, we have Sons Iskorn. Okay, this is a Dane. <laughs> this is a Dane, <laughs> guys. Should we have a little look? Should we have a look at what, how is it going here and here? Let's see. Well, is it, how is it going in here? Let's hear. Connie uh. <laughs> Heights. <laughs> Okay, they are they are going full on Dan here, so I'm thinking it's very cute, it's very cute, but I'm I don't think that is the is the thing that we're going for here. We are going for let's see, well about they see anything interesting in here? Uh, that is some okay, so it's not just they see, it's just everything that rhymes on they see right now. Um, again, let me know if there's a, if you have a category, if you have a game you uh, want to have a look at. Uh, or else, if you uh, are not writing anything, I'll just take your silence as a acceptance of whatever I'm going to choose. <laughs> okay, I'm not really sold out on the DC here. Ooh, a Valheim stream? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's see. Mm, let's see if we can find a Valheim. Mm, that doesn't. Uh, let's do the good old search here. Valheim. 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 Let's have a little look. Tiny look. Oh, there's a few here. Uh, we have a guy here with 58 viewers. Let's have a little look. Cozy iron farming. And then maybe third boss? Question mark. That sounds fun. Uh, let's have a, check, have a little look. Who is this? K mine. I'm not sure what he's doing here. He's oh, stream ending. Never mind. He is. He's doing the same as us, <laughs> hunting for uh, for anyone who is streaming. Okay. Uh, mental health check-in. Mr. Joker TV. What is this? Who is this? Okay. Ma. Just let them go, Jenny. No, I want to try the. I really want to try this raid thing. I really want to try it. Test it out. Explore. I can't fly. Also, distractions. Um. Pup stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna take the cat girl thing. That's that's a that's a no. That's a no in my in my little. But it's eighteen plus. It's eighteen plus. Cool stream title. Cat girl with big boobs. <laughs> uh, Permadeath Vanilla Hardcore. 
and prep for mist lands. That sounds nice. Let's have a look. What is this? This sounds professional. Sipic Tango. Oh man. More. Why are they suddenly all they? Why do they suddenly have all these damn? Maybe I'm. Maybe I should learn from them. No. Don't worry. I'm not gonna gonna put all kinds of weird things on in my channel. Um, I'm playing for fun. I'm not really playing for having anything else. Uh, I am trying to see what makes sense here. I had a, there was someone someone that I looked at. Lionheart Boo becomes a Viking. John tries not to spoil things. What is this? Oh my god, how many do... I think... I think those who have these... Um, They're affiliated. They are affiliated. The Find someone with like two viewers or something. You'll be happy. Yeah. I am trying to... There's one with six, 16 views here. 14, 11 views. There's one with... Troll hunting, seven viewers. Yeah, this one? Or no, I was thinking that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, vibing with Valheim. Troll hunting. Let's have a little look. Oh, man, he's affiliated as well. Oh, uh, probably. Maybe not. Maybe it's just... Uh, I don't know. Catch... Boom, go, goes right after this ad break. Click, stick around, support the stream. Oh man, okay, we, we're just gonna wait for this then, I guess. Oh, we're here to stream for six hours. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> are you guys open for trying to rate this guy? The bomb, bomb or ghost? He is running around in the swamp right now. Booba Kitty? Is that someone we? Uh, that's a, is that someone that I di didn't see? He looks like an incel. A what? He looks like an incel. A incel. Booba Kitty, uh, Cora, you have to define this. Is Booba Kitty a? Uh, Was it the eighteen plus? Was that the yeah? Uh, oh yeah, boob up, kitty. Yeah, that is the eighteen plus he was thinking of. <laughs> that, that one is has cute art. This one. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's how it is. Day fifteen, uncapped. Okay, what is this about? About Melrose, a loud and weird piece to us just trying to make everyone in chat laugh and bring a good vibe. She sounds cute. Sounds cool. Let's throw that. Melrose. Okay, let's try this. Okay. So I need to... What I need to do is I need to go into... Oh. I need to go in here. And we're going to say slash raid. Uh, and we're gonna raid. How does this work? Send viewers to another. Let's try this. Mel. Ro. See? There we go. Let's try this. Are we, are we ready? Are we ready to see if this raid works? Stay small to use well, Rose. Yeah. So now you just have to accept the raid, guys. Let's accept it. Let's raid. Come on. Let's raid it. This can be great. This can be awesome. Are you ready? Are we all ready? Are we all set? Five viewers are ready to raid. Okay, let's go and roll. Let's run. Let's raid this. I'm here. All right. I'm gonna eat some like regular mac and cheese, whatever choice sauce. Dave's mom, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? <laughs> we will.
Uncapped Subathon right now. Love your RP, thank you so much. Doing the Uncapped Subathon right now. I've been live for 15 days. Not straight, I've taken a mental health day off, but. Live for 15 days. We had 100 hours to go. We are vibing. We can't even go on the court because we got our shiny Pikachu and Pokemon. True. Probably. I got another one. There we go. Have fun. Have a good one. You probably ate a shiny. Why would I eat a Pikachu? What's wrong with you? I really can't open this. Hold on. I'm having a lot of trouble. I'm trying to open the soy sauce, guys. I promise. I'm trying to eat the weird food flavors. 